NASA is preparing for a commercially built craft to land on the moon's surface for the first time. It is part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program, which works with private engineering firms. The company, United Launch Alliance, built what's dubbed as the Vulcan Centaur rocket for the launch. That rocket will carry a lunar lander craft built by another company, Astrobotic. Liftoff is scheduled for Monday, and a moon landing attempt is slated for February 23rd. Derek Pitts joins us now. He is a chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia and always so good to answer all of our questions about space. Good to have you with us. So tell us about NASA's goal, outsourcing missions to private companies. How does this advance space exploration? Hello, how are you, Alana and Elaine? Great to see you. Yeah, you know, this really does a great job for NASA because in uh, outsourcing a lot of the work that they have to do, it makes it easier for NASA to meet the deadlines and the schedule for actually getting to the moon. And it also takes advantage of all the uh, technological capability that there is spread around the country to get this work done. So, you know, NASA has always been a big contract, a big contractor, really, uh, letting out contracts to other engineering firms to build the rockets and things like this. So this is not unusual for NASA, but they're spreading it out a lot more these days, as I said, to help meet the schedule. Interesting. Well, the rocket is also carrying some DNA of the late Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and some of the original cast members. Derek, what more can you tell us about that? Yeah, this is a really interesting mission because what's essentially being done is the United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket is sending this package that's called Peregrine that actually has 21 different packages on it, payloads on it. And one of them is a package that has the remains of a number of people to be deposited in space, to depo be deposited on the moon. So this is a launch service that has been available for at least a decade, maybe more than a decade, where you can actually send the remains of your loved ones to space. And so here we get a chance to see these most famous space-related people finally heading to space. So it's a good thing all around. Rest in everlasting peace out there in the cosmos. Uh, Derek, we are also coming up on the 25th anniversary of the Mars Exploration Rover landing. Talk to us about why that mission was important and what, how it, how it builds upon the things that, or how we're currently building upon that mission with our space exploration now. Right. So 25 years ago, the two rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, were sent off to Mars three weeks apart. They were only scheduled to be operational for 90 days. But in, as it turns out, Spirit operated for over six years and Opportunity lasted for 14 years. And the objective of these two rovers was to be able to examine different locations on the surface of Mars, looking for the evidence that it's possible that there could have been environments where life might have developed, okay? So just looking for environments that might have been conducive to the development of life, not looking for life. But they also discovered that water existed on Mars at some time in the past, a long, 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 long time ago on Mars. But this set us up for all of the other rovers that have come after that, including Perseverance, which is on the surface now with Curiosity, doing incredible work, uh, discovering all kinds of new things about the surface of Mars that help us to understand what the real environment of, life, of Mars was like billions of years ago when it was much more Earth-like, much warmer, much wetter, with a thicker environment. All those things that made it a lot more Earth-like, we've been able to learn that from the present rovers that are based on these two pioneering rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, 25 years ago. Yeah, and then just hearing you talk about it, Derek, the mind expands with <laughs> possibility. Derek Pitts, thank you. Thanks for having me.